Jamaica, a tiny island located off of Cuba's southeastern region, immediately left of Haiti, just north of the Caribbean Sea. Its major exports include bauxite, aluminum, rum, coffee, and sugar. Though Jamaica's geographic size is described as a small tropic sovereign nation, its global influences and legacies exceed a range non-congruent to its total square miles. For instance, you ever heard of uh, or listened to reggae? Well, that was all us. <laughs> Jamaica's Olympic feats are undisputably top tier globally, especially when considering track and field as well as cricket. And let's not forget this amazingly spicy flavor of Jamaican style jerk seasoning. Jamaican style jerk seasoning. Um, this is believed to be the glorious creation and result of the uh, Maroon people of Jamaica. Um, the Maroons were uh, the byproduct of African slaves that were brought over to Jamaica um, and the indigenous uh, native people of Jamaica. Um, these individuals eventually escaped European occupation and aggression and moved deep into the mountains, which was really not an accessible place. Um, during the 17th century. Now these Maroons would later on be credited by some historians as being the original birthers of Jamaican style jerk seasoning. Essentially a dry rub or wet marinade that you would apply to a protein. Um, it's a hot spice mixture, honestly. It's gonna heat you up, I'll tell you that much. Um, and then they would later grill it. Um, today, Jamaican style jerk is enjoyed all around the world by ways of tourism. So people coming to Jamaica, enjoying the fruits of their labor, um, as well as a Jamaican style diaspora, if you will. We had a, a great migration of Jamaicans moving to different territories and countries, uh, including but not limited to the United States, um, Great Britain, as well as Canada. Uh, now history also tells us that after the abolishment of slavery by the Europeans, uh, the Chinese and Indians were imported into indentured servitude, if you will. Um, the emergence of uh, the Indian population in Jamaica brought with them the integration of the widely known and very popular curry spice. Today, curry as well as jerk are uh, fundamental uh, spices, if you will, um, in everyday Jamaican style cuisine like curry chicken. Uh, and curry goat, which happens to be the celebratory protein um, of choice for all major holidays and celebrations in Jamaica. So my father once told me that on Sundays in Kingston, which is his home, which actually doubles as uh, Jamaica's largest city as well as its capital, um, that you can smell the savory aroma of curry cooking in the air. Um, apparently, even now, as he smells it, he reminisces to those times in his childhood and how excited he would get when Sunday would finally come back around. Um, apparently, you could also find jerk pork and jerk chicken from any street vendor walking around urban epicenters or sandy beaches. Now, among some of the other popular cuisines in Jamaica, brown stew chicken and fish, obviously Jamaica's an island, so it's going to have a very prevalent uh, fish aspect to the cuisines. Um, brown sweet chicken and fish would be cooked until tender and savory with the browning concentrate and Jamaican spices. Um, they have a multitude of different soups and stews. Um, and of course, Jamaican beef patties, um, small little meat pockets, um, crispy little outside. It's flaky, it's golden, it's great. When you put that between two pieces of cocoa bread, it's like you're full for like three, four hours, man. It's awesome. Um, Oh, and Aki and Saltfish, which actually is uh, Jamaica's national dish, the Aki and Saltfish. So it's the Aki, which is exactly what it sounds like, a salted fish. You mix those together with some fried dumplings, and you can eat that morning, noon, night, Sunday through Saturday. It's just a really, really good time. The curry shrimp entree has been a widely ordered and very popular this since we decided to annex it to our menu. Now, as I've said before, uh, Jamaican yellow curry is a staple seasoning used often on the island in dishes such as Jamaica celebratory dish, it's curry goat, widely enjoyed on Sundays and most major holidays. In addition to that, a day-by-day -day meal, curry chicken, of course. Now, Obviously, Jamaica, being in the middle of the Caribbean and surrounded completely by water, yields a bounty of resources from the sea for its inhabitants, including shrimp. 
It's not hard to fathom curry flavored shrimp as an inevitable outcome of Jamaica's geographic position. Now you want to get this oil very, very hot. When cooking shrimp, I find that the secret is getting your pan extremely hot. That creates a nice sear and locks in a lot of that juice and flavor once you apply the shrimp to the pan. Our curry dish comes with six different shrimps and a vegetable medley. Again, the flavor and texture factor. It also comes with our steamed white rice and a curry sauce that I make right in the pan with the cooking shrimp. Once that pan's hot and that shrimp is cooking, you're going to want to make sure that it stays there for just about a minute so it gets that nice sear on that first side. Once that sear is accomplished, you go ahead and you turn your shrimp over. Oh yeah, see, look at that. Great sear, locks in the flavor, locks in the juices, and you have your vegetables in there too, getting some of that residual flavor while it's in the pan. This is going to loosen up all the ingredients in the pan, and it also infuses the curry flavor that's actually on the shrimp. And when we're done, we have a product of perfectly seared shrimp, Vegetables al dente and a wonderfully coconut, uh, excuse me, curry infused sauce. I'll take the heat away from it. We'll grab our plate that we've set up and we'll pour that concoction right over the top. Again, an abundance of flavor, texture, and it's aesthetically pleasing.